So Candace Owens said she had a chance to be a 304. Let's check out the clip. I remember vividly crying on the phone with my friend. We were best friends all through high school, went to a club one night, and our, our luck somehow ended up meeting Wyclef and Lil Wayne, and she just turned to the whole life. And I remember I was so broke, and she was living in like a condo in Miami, sleeping with everybody, Drake, da 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 da. And I was just like, it's so unfair. She has everything. Of all, only I just slept with this guy. I could have everything that he has. And he said, Candace, if you think that in 10 years, your life is not going to be better than hers, you're out of your mind. 10 years later, almost to the day i was with charlie kirk we walked into the four seasons hotel in los angeles and she was the hostess wow working oh, shit. and so when i say this stuff to women I, I understand how hard it is when you're broke and you're in it how am i ever gonna get out of this but i also tell people looking in the retrospect every single challenge that god gives you like he picks you uniquely for those challenges because i know that it was his perfect design to have me go through those experiences because there was something bigger at the end of that Oh, snap. So I didn't even know that she was on Fresh and Fit, uh, which is a show that um, a lot of people have canceled now because of the drama that's been going on. Man, that's crazy. The fact that the story came around full circle, you know? Um, a lot of girls have crushes on these celebrities and movie stars, and it's uh, totally bragging rights if you hook up with a Drake or a Bieber. Yeah, it might be uh, fun living that carefree, do what I want to do, and live that 304 lifestyle. It seems cool at first when they're letting you live in their 304 condo for a few months. But guess what? Three, four, eight months down the road, they're going to get tired of you and say you need to move out of the condo. And they're going to put their next 304 into that same condo. And you are left with your soul and dignity broken. And what else is tough is during this time, you might not be going to school to further yourself. You're probably chilling, going on shopping sprees because Drake is paying for it while Candace was getting her grind and hustle on. But you didn't. And you're left with only enough skills to do a hostess job. What else threw me off, too, was that I think their relationship ended up parting ways because Candace didn't even know what her friend was up to until she bumped into her at the hotel. Candace grew up into the more professional world while her friend is probably just floating around trying to figure out her next moves and what she is going to do. Overall, the damage is done, but she had her fun and life goes on. Hopefully, her ex-friend didn't end up being a baby mama from one of these rappers and can recover from this and have her glow up as well.